Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today we're going to be talking about time signatures. Now first, we have to understand that in music we group our notes or phrasings into things called bars or measures. The time signature dictates how long each of these bars are. So what does a time signature look like? Well, there's a number on top of another number. Now these numbers each mean something different, but we're going to get to that in a second. The most common time signature in popular music is 4-4. Four, four. So to count the 4-4, four, four, we'll be counting just the four quarter notes. So like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm sure you all recognize that kind of groove. Now, when I say 4-4 four, four time, specifically, I mean there are four quarter notes per bar. Now, just because it's four quarter notes doesn't mean that we have to play something quite as stock as I just played there. We can syncopate it up and get as crazy as we want within it as well. Anyway, in a time signature, the top number tells us how many notes there are per bar and the bottom number tells us what kind of note the top number is talking about. So the bottom number can be a bunch of different things. It can be a two, which talks about half notes, which doesn't really happen so much in popular music. It's more of an orchestral thing. It can be four, which is quarter notes. We just talked about that. It can be eight, which would be eighth notes. And it can even be 16, which is 16th notes. And that's where things start to get really interesting within the time signatures. So. Now that we have an understanding of what the bottom number could be, let's talk about changing the top number. So if we change the top number to a three, we would have a bar of three, four, which would mean there are three quarter notes per bar. So to count the three, four, it's just one less quarter note than the four, four. Sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, as with the 4-4 section, in 3-4, we don't need to play things as stock as I just did in the first example there. Let's check out a couple different ways of phrasing it. To end the section on quarter note meters, let's talk about 7-4. So for this, I'm going to put snare drums on 3 and 7. And again, it's kind of just like the other stuff we've counted, but we're going to count up to 7 instead of 4 or 3 or whatever you want to do. So that's going to sound like this, counting wise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I hope this cleared up some of the questions you might have had on time signatures. And be sure to stay tuned for parts 2, 3, and 4 about 8th note, 16th note, and composite meters.